you can stand to your feet all over the building. Again, this is the last Sunday of the month of June. And God sure been good to us. Whether you would admit it or not, you may not have got everything you wanted, done everything you wanted to do, but you got life, health, and strength. You might not feel the best. Some of you right now got some aches and pains, but, but it's good to have aches and pains sometimes. I think sometimes we take so much for granted. But then have you ever went downtown and just looked up under the bad house? Can I help you a little bit? I, I, I had a decent bed to sleep in. I was able to bathe myself. Are y'all listening to me? We take so much for granted until it's a shame, as though it could not happen to me. Well, let me bust your bubble red right quick. You may be up today, but before the sun go down, I ain't talking about tomorrow, but before the sun go down, you, you can be kept in hand. Did you know that? And so don't ever think just because you got it that way right now that it can be that way all the time. Life is just like a boomerang. It goes around and around. And so when you come to church, and you look around and see people, and you're here and you can see them and they can see you. You can truly say, God, you're showing up being good to me. Yeah. And I think that that's that we are. I don't, I don't know where it's going to take, but again, I did say again, and I'm going to say it again now. It's going to be a shifting in this world, and it's on its way now. And, and, and the enemy head is coming up. The enemy head is coming up. He's going to come steal, kill, and he's going to destroy. And it's going to happen. Because I like to say, God's got a way of bringing his people back to reality. And I think Lumpkin is time and McDonald's time for a reality check. Uh -huh. We can talk a good game. But then when action comes, can we really handle the good game? We all going to be standing for And we got to stand before a just God. And give an account. So I thank God for what He has done for me. And thank God for what He's doing to me. Amen. Let me share this with you, and I will say this that one of our members on last evening received a, a very touching message about her sister, and they have received that she has a, a cancer that has broken out into her stomach. And she's going through, and, and uh, we want to keep her lifted up in prayer. Uh, my, my godson, Larry, he's around here. Brown is here. Uh, we'll keep him lifted up in prayer. Uh, I know God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. And so it might not be my day to day, but it just might be mine tomorrow. And so we, I want to help people the best I can because I know if it had not been for the grace of God, when he had brought me and what I've been through and what I have dealt with, I would have thrown it in the towel a long time ago. But if he had to reach way down, I promise you he'll pick you back up. So I'm grateful. Wait for somebody say, good morning. So you to see my brother here. So I got the boss and the wife. Welcome.
you have told the Holy Spirit, have your way. And this is what we want to happen today. That the Holy Ghost will have his way. Somebody came today for a blessing. And somebody came to be blessed. But if you came, you're in the right place at the right time. And if you have an come. Let us now prepare our hearts to go into sin. unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the water. The God of glory thundereth. The Lord is upon many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yea, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Zion, like a lion, like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. I have read to you from the book of Psalms, the 29th chapter, the first to the 7th verse. You may have your seat. Let us go to the throne of grace. Let us go thanking the Lord for right now. Let us go thanking the Lord for right now. Where you sit right now. Where you came from down that dangerous highway to my way through tractor trailers and everything else. But God saw you here and that's why you are sitting here right now. And I said that praise the Lord right now because the next five minutes ain't promised to you. Seek the Lord while he can be found. You heard what Pastor says, a lot going on. Everything to abortion, through suicide, and everything else. Yes. Stemming from the White House, the laws, and everything else. But you got to remember who law we is under. That's it. That's it. Seek the Lord yes. why he may be found. Yes. Let us bow our heads. Lord, Lord, again, we just like to say thank you for your power. We thank you for your might. Your mind. And again, Lord, we thank you for right now. Lord God, we thank you for all this week. You have kept us, our Heavenly Father. We thank you for your ordination power, our Heavenly Father. The kind that you can see through the future, our Heavenly Father. And who said that and said who will be here today and who won't be here today. Our Heavenly Father, we hold our heads up towards the hills from which cometh our help. Even in a time like this, our Heavenly Father, when it seems like there is no help. When that seems like there's a shortage of love, our Heavenly Father, we're still holding our head up to you, Lord. We're looking attentively towards heaven, our Heavenly Father. Now, Lord God, continue to watch over us. Lord God, we don't want to forget 
about you. So if you said that these things would happen to keep us on our knees, all heavenly, heavenly Father, so be it because you said in your word that you're chasing those who you love, all heavenly Father. Now, Lord, we pray for those uh, that are sleeping up under the highways and byways and have a place to go, all heavenly Father. We pray for those who sit right in here this morning, Lord, Lord, who didn't have enough food to put on their table, all heavenly Father who barely had gas to make it out here this morning. Lord, Lord, I ask that you give them a special blessing because you told us to seek ye first the kingdom of God and your righteousness and all the rest of these things will be added unto us, our Heavenly Father. We thank you for the musician. We thank you for the minister of music, our Heavenly Father. We thank you for this choir, our Heavenly Father. And again, we thank you for our pastor, our Heavenly Father. And Lord, Lord, wherever the elders is, our Heavenly Father, you know where they are, our Heavenly Father, the one who can't come out because of their illness, our Heavenly Father. The ones who sit in that home, our Heavenly Father, don't even have a fan in their house, don't have an air condition, our Heavenly Father, and have nobody to come by and see about them.
Anybody got a yes in their spirit today? Yes. God's been good to say yes. yes. Look at somebody and say, I got a yes in my spirit right now.
we pray now for a tithe and offering. We give a tithe and offering. We want to get as our trustees to come. Ask our trustees to come. Let us prepare. Ernie will be standing here now with these tithes and offerings are given. Uh, Kate will come and make a presentation for our achievements. Eternal God, our Father, we come and give back to you that which you allow us to give. And we ask you, God, that you receive our gifts. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask uh, those of you to my left, stand in the usher's place, go to from the back, go to my right, I'm going to ask you to stand. <laughs> Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you for the gift. 
gifts, and we thank you for the givers, and we pray, oh God, that it will be used to the glory of the these and other blessings we ask in that name. Amen. Amen. Again, I want to say, please, I need your help very bad. I want to have uh, this outing of a picnic uh, on the 4th, on the 5th Saturday of next month, and I need you all to work with me. I need water. I need waters, and I need uh, some food, and I need some drinks. So I'm asking you, please help me to get all these things that we need for our picnic, and we will be coming back here again. At this time, please be attentively and listen to the names and the achievements in which these kids have accomplished. And uh, you may say, well, they didn't call my child's name. You did not pass in the necessary information that was needed. Uh, well, it was no more than just their name. It was asked that you please turn in all the names of the kids of achievements. And since you did not turn it in, please do not be mad at me, nor the secretary. She only typed and printed out what was given to her. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As I call your name, will you please come up? Jasmine Williams. Currently attends Sun Valley Elementary, will graduate from pre-K to kindergarten. Grayson Smiley attends Epic Alternative School, promoted from kindergarten to first grade. And Grayson is not here. Caitlin Christian attends Booker T. Washington Elementary, promoted to second grade. She had perfect attendance, no tardies, straight A's every six weeks. Teacher's favorite student of 2021 to 2022, member of First Baptist Kingston Youth Choir. This is the niece of Terry and Sonia Gary. <laughs> Lauren Lumpkin attends Midfield Elementary School, placed in the third and placed third in the spelling bee. Humble student, loved by her teachers, willing to work, promoted to third grade. She is destined for success as a real leader. <laughs> Deontay Lonkin attends Midfield Elementary School. Humble, AB on a roll, quiet, yet will speak up, love to run, jump and flip, promoted to fourth grade. Milan Mason attends Irondale Community School, maintains straight A average for the entire school year. Recognized as one of the champions of the first year, my own March Madness Challenge for Reading in Jefferson County at Irondale Community School. Teacher's helper, member of the First Baptist Kingston Youth Choir and Praise Dance Team, promoted to fourth grade. Elizabeth Ellis attends Phillips Academy. She is a junior cheerleader, made the AB honor roll all school year, promoted to fifth grade. <laughs> Kai Harris attended Junior Delta Academy, will be attending Hewittown Elementary School. She was on the AB honor roll all year, leader in ME Award made the all-star team for Homewood Patriots 12th even through she is 10 years, even though she is 10 years old, promoted to sixth grade. <laughs> Tamiria Hubbard attended Martha Gaston. Her achievements were band, performing arts, dance team. Will be attending Hayes Middle School summer band camp program, promoted to sixth grade. Angelo Lumpkin Jr. attends Rutledge Middle School, made the AB on a roll. Funny yet humble, love to help others, promoted to sixth grade. <laughs> Demario Lumpkin attends Rutledge Middle School. He has a mind to move forward, enjoy playing basketball, will comfortably be in the eighth grade. Made A 
A.B. Honoro, Captain of Junior Varsity Cheer Squad for 2022 through 2023 season, received an award for outstanding participation cheerleading, trophy for cheerleading season 2021 through 2022, received an award for more forgetful teammate, promoted to the 10th grade. Morgan Mason attends Ramsey High School, ranked in the top 20 of her freshman class, maintained good grades and stayed on the AB Honor Roll all year, received an award in Advanced English, received a Scholar Award in JROTC for maintaining an A average, member of the Ramsey High School Cheerleader for the second year, 2021, 2022, 2022 through 2023 member of FBLA, member of the First Baptist Kingston Youth Choir and Praise Dance Team, promoted to 10th grade. <laughs> Michael Blue attends John Carroll High School. A.B. Honoro, she is on the John Carroll Cheerleading Team, awarded for All-American Cheerleader, member of Mathematics and Science Club, promoted to 12th grade. <laughs> Mariah Mason, graduated from Jefferson County International Bac Bac Baccalaureate, will be attending Howard University. She was Diamond Diva Dance Team Captain for second year, placed third in the word processing event at the FBLA National Leadership Conference in Chicago, member of the National English Spanish Road Capital Youth Alpha Theta and Science Honor Society serving as HOSA secretary and treasurer in two societies. Also a member of the Student Government Association, FCCLA. Maintained all A's and one B for the entire year with a 4.6 
I'm having to drive four hours just to go to church, but God is good. Amen. So pray for me and I'll be praying for you all. Truly, we are grateful for all of the support that he has given us along with Reginald and the other musician and musical staff here. We are grateful that God has blessed us with a truly fine group of people. I want to thank uh, Reginald and the other staff, and along with Jeff, uh, about keeping our kids together. My hat's off to this young lady who is about to embark in a new life away from the parents to Howard University. I want to say to you, Reginald, you know, it's, it's an old saying is that anything good can come out of Kingston. Yes, it's a lot. God has allowed us to produce some good work and some good kids and some good members. And we are grateful and we will have to keep up the good works in that. I need your prayers for a moment. I need you to be close attentively to this message. For I am hoping and pray that it will fall on the ears of a listener and not just fall on a deaf ear. We are working now trying to get all the kinks that we can out of our speak, our PA system. As you know, we have put the monitors and speakers on each end of the church for it to carry out. We still have working on it and bear with us that we will get things done. I want to say once again, heads off to Bruce uh, for a job well done. You don't find too many black musicians in the opera. Very few. And, and to be able to venture out in another, another episode of life, that's a blessing. Uh, he will be one of the lead singers of this year in Atlanta with the Gospel Music Workshop of America. I did leave early last night. I had to go, but uh, I understand that he uh, conducted a song with the Birmingham Community Mayor's Choir. I want to say to him, directly to you, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for, on last Sunday, you and your dad just did a good job here. And we are grateful for that. Truly, I just thank God for allowing me to be pastor. Now you know how I am about cell phones. I hear well, see good. So you do know uh, this is this is it. So now, but you do not turn on Bible. Uh, in fact, turn them off. Uh, I got to get this word out. And the only way I need the word out, I don't need you know, distractions. Let us pray. God, our Father, we come this afternoon thanking you for another opportunity to stand behind this sacred roster. God, speak to me and speak through me that your people will hear and to see you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. If you would, if you have phones, we will walk through this. If you have the Bible, you can get one out from the pew. Turn with me to the book of Wisdom, Proverbs, if you would, the 22nd chapter. Proverbs 22. Proverbs 22. I'm going to walk just a little bit with this message. Again, I want to try to hope and pray that again, like I said, that we will be a hearer and a doer of God's word. If you have Proverbs 22, say amen. amen. If you don't have it, say wait a minute. I heard it. Proverbs 22. Just verse 1 right now. And I'm going to go down. Six, but I want to deal with verse one right now. Book of Wisdom. Listen to me as you would as I read loud. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches 
and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Go down to verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Go with me now to 1 Corinthians 13th chapter. First Corinthians 13th chapter. And put your fingers on the 11th verse. Paul says, When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Again, let me read that. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For just a moment, I want to talk from these words. Charity starts at home. Charity starts at home. In that last verse of 1 Corinthians, Paul says, Now about faith, hope, and charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Anybody know what charity is? Love. Anybody know what charity is? Love. Anybody ever heard of hard love? I mean hard love. Tough love. We, we, we are dealing with that. The reason I, I, I chose and meditated about charity starts at home. A lot of times we want other folks to do what we need to do. We want to blame other people for the downfall of our own children. But have you ever thought about what charity really is? If you love your children, the Bible says that you will bring them up in the fear of ammunition, that they, 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 they won't be afraid of you, but they respect And what we're living in in this day and time that our kids don't even respect themselves. All right. They say what they want, do what they want, act the way they want. But when many of us will testify to the fact when we came up as a child, even if that was not my mama nor my daddy, we gave adults the respect that was due to them. Amen. I wish I had a witness in here. Oh, yeah. When I came up, we didn't call mama by her first name, nor daddy by his first name. We always said, mama, daddy. And that's the ground in which they stood on. You didn't call mama best. Daddy with me. If you got that common with your mama and daddy, they will knock you to your knees. Charity starts at home. You didn't tell the next door neighbor that they were lying. You and dad tell a duck, you tell the lie. In the presence of a real 
mama and a real dad. You couldn't stand there and say you are lying on me. Whether well, they were telling a story or not, you wouldn't dare say that to them. But now, many of our parents uphold their children in their wrong. Let's go back to Proverbs. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Let me share this with you. Did nobody ever tell you? Your name means something. Your name is about something. And whatever your family, wherever you came out, makes no difference if they were good, bad, whatever they were, your name means something. And you ought to wear your name with pride. Now many of you in your family have a reputation of bad names. And I was not called. But let me tell you. God told me to tell you. You don't have to be. What folks think you are. You don't have to ride on that mess. What people label you are. And some of you young people. And grown people too. You want to uphold the reputation of bad folks. But I want to say it in a joking way. But it's a serious way. Jesse James been dead a long time. And he ain't coming back this way. So if, if in your family the reputation of bad people, don't carry that name with you. No matter how bad they may be, you can change the situation. A good name. And let me tell you, your name rings out too. People know you before you even come around. Your name precedes you. And therefore, when some people even hear your name, they really don't want to be around you. A good name. A good name. And I, and I need to help you out. I don't care how much money you in your pocket. Your name means something to you. You can have a, a lump in your pocket that could choke a you. But your name, your reputation means something. A good name. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, silver gold. Charity starts at home. You want, you want, some of you, you, you look, you, and, and it's amazing enough that people can see all of the wrong other folks cheering you. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. <coughs> they can easily find fault in your young uh -huh. But theirs is doing everything on the sun. And they do it right in your face. I can remember the time that uh, you wouldn't dare sit and look at your mom and dad in the room. Right. Am I preaching today? You wouldn't dare look in your parents' mouth and face. No matter what they were saying, you wouldn't dare. Because that bad hand would knock you. But we, we, we need to get back to some old school. Some old school. Something that you can stand firm on. Hard love goes a long way. Hard love.
will keep you on the right path. Well, I'm not going to tell you anything that, that I haven't experienced. I want to say this in more ways than one, and I'm not throwing no reflection on anybody. These young people, these teenagers, it, it even goes before young folks now, before teenagers. These little kids know more than some adults know. And they, they, they are catching on. They're catching on the different stuff and think that it is nice and true. I want to help you today because I, I got one myself. If, 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 if you're a man, be a, if you're a boy, be a boy. If you're a girl, be a girl. You, you, you ain't got to prove nothing to nobody about your sexuality. You ought to know who you are when you were born. Are you listening to me? Because we have so much on television, not everything is in the open. We call an ace an ace, a spade a spade. But, 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 but now, I tell you what, now I'm going to tell you this right now, and you didn't ask for it, I'm going to give it to you free. You young boys get mess around and go to jail. And go behind bars. You're going to come, you're going to go in as a boy. <laughs> And if you don't maintain your boyhood, they're going to break you down. These, 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 these pan below your behind is nothing but an invitation. And your parents go along with it. And I tell Jay all the time, I didn't buy them to ride your foot. I, I bought them to fit on your waist. And I, and I mean to wear them accordingly. That's right. I know what some of y'all got in your mind about certain things. That's okay with me. Mm -hmm. I know what you're thinking, but that's no problem with me. But I'm like Joshua, but as for me. And my house. All right. We gonna serve the Lord. Dad ain't going to see his daddy do anything. Any other because the respect that he has for me and the respect I have for him, I'm going to give him the utmost respect. And I expect the same thing to come from him. Now, you can go around and go along with some of this stuff. And you allow them to do certain things, it's gonna make you cry one day. All right. All right. It's gonna make you shed some tears one day. A yeah. oh, whooping has never killed anybody. In fact, it makes you better. That's right. What are you saying, Miller? You know what? Spare the rod. We living in some perilous times now. And it ain't getting any better. It's getting worse. And so Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, woman and man, well, man and man, I put away childish things. Some of us, as adults, we need to grow up a little bit more. Age does not make you. Height does not make you. You need to grow up maturity and show yourself. I know for a fact as I get ready to close, you didn't like this message, but I'm going to give it to you free. Because some of you, before this year is over, you're going to cry. Before this year is over, you're going to cry. And you cannot say it didn't come from the pulpit. There are going to be some changes. 
there need to be some changes. Makes no sense that you come to church and yours stay at home. I told Jay, if I go, you go. If I stay, you got to have a foundation, folks. You got to have a foundation. A friend of mine, he, he is old now, but his name was Shelly the Playboy. Anybody remember him? Shelly say, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And that's a true statement. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And my hat's a law to parents that support their kids in whatever they endeavor. I see these young girls who, who, who mama and daddy, every time they see they are here to give their children support. My hat is off to Reverend Lunkin and Sister Lunkin. Even though your son is no longer with you, you still are a part of your children's life. My hat's off to others who make it possible that these kids will get here. You don't have to worry. If you raise them right, right will follow. If you treat them right, you don't always dog your children out. Tell them they ain't gonna be nothing. They ain't about nothing. You're just like your dad. Stop doing that stuff. Yeah, I, I, I get mad because I'm human. But I want the best for my children. I don't go along with all they do, and I'm not going to uphold mine in their room. Right. They don't know that. And they know that. So now, if you are not, if you're not satisfied with this message, give me, let me help you out. You find another church that will help you. Because I'm not going to change. I'm going to give you God's word. Every now and then, you got to come down to earth. This word, this word is, is what's to draw us and keep us. But every now and then, you got to have some common sense. You got to stay. You got to do it. Because if you don't do it from girls and boys on down, it's going to be a landslide. And I hate to see it happen, but it's going to be its own way. I pray God's blessings upon this congregation. I pray God's blessings upon our young people and your parents. Please, please, love your children. Love your children, but chastise your children. Love them. Love them. Give them all the love you can. But then chastise them too. Let them know when they're wrong. Call an ace or ace of spade or spade. Say me. And you can move forward in your life. Because these kids get caught up with all these other folks in school. And the first thing they figure out is Saturday that, yeah, they do it, I can do it too. It don't work that way. Know what's in your child's room. That's right. Know who your child is talking to. Know who your child will associate themselves with. Know that. As I come to a close with this message, the doors of the church is open. If there be one who really want to come to Christ, I want to extend the invitation to you. Okay. Give me a seat.